Last week I made ChatGPT in Penguin mod and a lot of you loved it. So this week I'll be making Midjourney, which is an image generator in Scratch. So let's get started. Once again we're here in Penguin mod and let's click on create. So Midjourney is an image generator and it can generate any image and it's on Discord. So we'll be having a Discord background. Let's have an HD upload. And here it is, so you can see the mid-journey layout. But we don't really need all of this, so let's just first center it. And then let's make it a bit bigger, maybe 150. Let's drag it over here, a bit smaller, maybe like 145. And that's perfect. So we've got all the important stuff, and now all we need to do is erase this. So we're gonna go to our drawing, and we're gonna just cover this up with a square just like that and this is where our image is gonna go and let's also cover some other stuff like this and we should be good okay now let's go back to the first sprite so we've got the penguin sprite here and he looks really good but we're gonna have to delete him bye and then we're gonna go back to our code and bring our penguin gpt so where is it oh we've got an api too we got so much i think some stuff even got added since last time oh yeah and this was created by mobilop Huge shout out to him, he commented on my last video. So here it is. Now last time we used chatbot management, but this time we're going to be using image generation. So let's just say generate penguin in space from, let's just say Dolly 3 and import as costume with name penguin. And let's just click on allow. Okay, so it looks like nothing happened. But if we go to costumes, nothing has happened yet because it's still generating. The chat GBT bot, it didn't take a long time, but image generation really takes a lot. And you can see it's not yellow anymore, so it's generated. And look at that, guys. So we've got a penguin astronaut, we've got space, we've got a rocket ship, I think. And this is just perfect. So this is what we're going to be using. Let's just put it back and use when clicked. When blue flag clicked, though, not when green flag clicked. And then we're going to ask the question and wait. This is all it does. To begin, we want to switch costume to the blank costume, which is costume 1. Or we can just call it blank like that then we bring out the forever loop and let's put the ask in the forever loop and now it's very easy just generate the image answer where is answer there and import as costume with name answer then we will switch costume to answer oh let me just duplicate that and there we go so let's click on the green flag and try it out so let's just say lol and it generated pretty quickly but it did not put it here oh, i see why forgot to say dolly through okay let's try it one more time let's just say lol it's gonna start generating and this really takes a while okay so now you can see we have the lol and it takes up the whole page so i don't want that let's tone it down a bit not 50 maybe 30 yeah 30 is perfect let's put it over there and now we just need to generate the text so this size is perfect so we'll go to x25 y25 nice even number we will go to front layer and we will also set the size to 30. Okay, now it's just time for the text. So as you remember, we had the same text last time. Text, animated text. And here it is. So we can set the font. This time I'll just set it to the classic sans serif. Last time I used the handwriting font, playful. And let's just set our text color to white because we're on a black background. And now we just need to type our text after this. Generating image, dot, dot, dot. Let's try it out now, cat. So it's generating, and there it works. So let's try this one more time. Just for you guys, let's do scratch programming. And you can see it's gonna say generating image. We've got this nice UI, and it takes a while, but the final result is worth it. And there we go, so we can see the scroll sheet's like programming. And this isn't the best image, but here are a couple other images I made using this. And they're really cool. And yeah, that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then you'll love my ChatGPT video too.